Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Walgreens and we were actually at CVS earlier today, but I wanted to do my filming at Walgreens also on Monday and I'm putting it up on Tuesday, but I wanted to do it on Monday because I was so impatient because the deals are just that amazing. But typically I go and film on Tuesday and upload on Tuesday as well. So just a little bit different this week, but that's only because the deals are so amazing that I just couldn't wait because I'm impatient and I want to jump on, on the deals as well. So we have a few, I'm calling them double dips only because there's two different um, promotions going on and they're coded for both promotion. You can call it a glitch. You can call it a double dip. You can call it a double dip glitch. You call it whatever you want, but that's what's happening. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to test those out first. And, and then I'm going to do a scenario that is spend 50, get back $10 in Walgreens cash. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I will get a paper booster on top of that so that I can get more bang for my buck. But that is really all guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Sarah and I like to show you how to save money any way that I can. If you are back, welcome back. If you're a returning watcher, um, there is a Google Doc link down below in the description box for you to use to help plan your trip or to help you out in the store. But anyways, guys, that's really all. So let's go inside and see what we can do. So the first thing we're gonna start out with is we are going to test the double dips that I have been hearing about. So there's a double dip with some Dove men's body wash. I have not seen anyone try it with the women's body wash, but then there's also the double dip on the Dove bar soap. And that's what I wanna try because I don't ever get the women's Dove bar soap really cheap. So that's what we're going to do first. So these are gonna be double dipping with the deal of the week. So the deals of the week are buy two, get back a $4 register reward, and they're going to be a store register reward. But it's also, of course, double dipping with a separate deal that is buy two, get back a $4 register reward, and that is a manufacturer's register reward. So two of these are going to equal out to $18. There's a three off two a digital coupon. So then that'll make the cost of these $15. Now you can pay that with Walgreens cash if you would like or other register rewards. Then you're going to get back $8 in register rewards or two $4 register rewards, making the total for both of them just $7. And I think that is a very good deal. Just be careful when you're using register rewards to pay for this that you're not using a store register reward or a store coupon register reward because then the new one will not print out. So just be careful of that when you're using your register rewards and where they come from because sometimes new register rewards won't print out. Now next we have another double dip and that is on the uh, toothbrushes and certain toothpaste. Now this is double dipping with the uh, deal of the week again and a monthly deal where you buy two you get back a $4 register reward that is going all month long and so you would also get back eight dollars in register rewards so the two of these will equal out to six dollars you're going to use a two dollar digital coupon you'll pay four dollars you'll get back eight dollars in register rewards making them a four dollar money maker now i didn't show what toothpaste you could use to get this because the both stores that i went to didn't have the toothpaste so i just grabbed toothbrushes instead and we'll take a four dollar money maker so next we're going to do our regular transaction where we're going to be using a spend 50, get back $10 in Walgreens cash. We're going to start off with the bounty. The bounty is on sale for $11.99 and they're buy two, get back a $4 register reward. Now there is only a dollar digital coupon that you can use. So the two of these will equal out to $23.98. We're going to use that dollar digital coupon. That will bring our total down to $22.98, and then we'll get back a $4 register reward. But we're gonna submit our receipt to Ibotta, and we're gonna get back $3 on each one of them, making both of them just $12.98 or $6.49 a piece. If you do this deal by itself without building up a spend booster transaction or anything like that, you absolutely can use Walgreens cash to pay or register rewards to help lower your out-of-pocket. And I highly suggest you do that if you're going to do this deal. 
um, but I am using this with a spend booster, so I won't be doing that. So next we're going to grab some soft soap. The soft soap is on sale for $4.99, and when you buy two, you get back a $5 register reward. So we're going to grab two, and that's going to equal out to $9.98. Then we are going to be using a $2 digital coupon that everyone should have received this week. I also have a dollar insert coupon from the 115 Smart Source. So then that's going to bring my total down to $6.98. I'm going to get back a $5 register reward, making it $1.98 for both of them, which isn't bad. So now we're going to do this oral care deal. This is on the Colgate, and they are priced at $2.99 a piece. We're going to grab these two Max Fresh right here, and that is going to equal out to $5.98. We have a $2 digital coupon that we are going to use. We'll pay $3.98. Then we'll get back a $4 register reward, but then we're going to submit our receipt to the coupons.com app and get back another $2 for the other Colgate toothpaste. And that's going to make this free and a 202 moneymaker. So that makes me really happy. So next I'm going to do the Oral B deal again. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this deal again. I'm not going to say the math again, but I do want to show you that the deal does work on the Sensi Soft toothbrushes. And if you noticed, I did the Vivid White toothbrushes the first time around. So those two will work for this deal. And of course, do this as many times as you can because each time is a $4 moneymaker. Now, if you grab the Crest, um, Pro Health toothpaste, and it's not the advanced, it's just Crest Pro Health, but I'm not sure the exact ones, but I know the one that says advanced does not work with it. If you can get one of those and do a toothpaste and a toothbrush, then that will make for a $6 moneymaker. But my store had hardly any toothpaste, so that's okay. I'll take two $4 moneymakers. So then we're going to grab some palm olive. I kind of messed this deal up in my must-do deals video last week. But anyways, these are on sale for $2.99, and they're buy two. Get back $3 in Walgreens cash. We have a $0.50 cent digital coupon and a $0.50 cent printable coupon. The dollar coupon that came out was for a much bigger size. After the coupons, your total will be $4.98. Then you'll pay that. You'll get back $3 in Walgreens cash making it $1.98 for both of them, or $0.99 cents a piece, and that's much better than the $1.25 tree. So I definitely will pick this up a lot this week because this is such a good deal. So that is everything that I have for my transaction. I will be using a paper booster of Spend 40, get back $9 in Walgreens cash. I am going to be using some register rewards. I will be using this $4 register reward. This one right here is from the Unilever promotion with the Dove. I wanted to use that with this transaction because I am going to be getting the P&G product, so I didn't want to use the P&G register rewards, so that way I get all of the register rewards back. So that is everything that I have for you today. We're going to be going to my kitchen table and we're going to be looking at all of the receipts and see if all of the register rewards printed and all that jazz. So let's go over to the table. All right, guys, so we're back in from Walgreens. I know this video is a little bit different than what I typically do, but um, I had to do it this way this week. I also want to say don't mind the leftover party decor hanging up. Um, we had Andrew's birthday a while ago, and we like to leave their decorations hanging up for a little bit, just so they, you know, just because it's fun. But anyways, so this is my haul, and I did three transactions, and um, everything went pretty good. And what I mean by that is in my big transaction, there was just one little digital coupon that didn't come off. And then in my other two transactions, uh, at first it was a big mess, but then we were able to correct it. So, I mean, I can go over that with you really quick, but in the end, everything was corrected and it was just purely um, a little fluke type of thing. And it's never happened to me before. Um, so I can talk about that really quick. So my three transactions consisted of a set of toothbrushes, 
and then another transaction, I did the Dove Bar Soap, and then everything else is in another transaction. So here are my receipts to the two transactions that were the toothbrushes and the Dove. And I'm showing you these receipts so you can see the coupons and all that jazz. What had happened is he rung up the bar soap first, and then what had happened was my stuff started printing out of the uh, Catalina machine, and then it got jammed. But we thought it ran out of paper. So he's like, well, when I put new paper in, your rewards should print. So we went ahead and did the toothbrushes. Now on the toothbrushes, I also have some clearance items here. So here is my toothbrushes right there, and there is the coupon. So since my rewards didn't print, um, instead of trying to get things recouped, I said, well, since the rewards were going to print and the paper had jammed, why don't we try to just do a refund and try the transactions again? And they're like, okay, that's not a problem. So what they did is since I used Walgreens Cash to pay for these, what they did is when they did the refund, they put it all on one of those store credit cards. So it's a store credit on like a gift card. So granted, I didn't get to use the coupons again, but instead of giving me back the price of $15 for the soap, they gave me back the full price, including the coupon. So we redid the transactions and everything worked out totally fine. So I didn't have to pay any more and essentially everything worked out the way it should have and I did get the double dips. So essentially, if the Catalina machine hadn't jammed, then everything would have looked like this to begin with. So that's why I'm showing you the receipt on these two little transactions. So here is the receipt. There's the Oral-B for $6. There's my $2 coupon. And I did use some Walgreens cash to pay. I didn't get any Walgreens cash back. So here are my register rewards. This is the store coupon here because it is a deal of the week. And then here is the other register reward, which is a store register reward from P&G because when you look at the tag for both of these toothbrushes, they say buy two, get back a $4 register reward, and it's a monthly deal. And it's not showing things like when you have the deals of the week where it shows the other brands included on the tag. So that's what's happening there. It is a double dip. I guess you could call it a glitch, but it, it all depends on how you look at it. I typically just call them a double dip glitch. Um, I don't call them a glitch because I think a glitch would be something a little bit different. But anyways, so there is that transaction and I got these two on the first transaction. And I do know that the soft ones also work. So then I did the Dove Bar Soap because I have lots of body wash and I love this antibacterial. So here is my receipt for the Dove. They're $9 a piece. I used the three off two digital coupon. I used some Walgreens cash to pay. And then here is my store register reward because Dove is the deal of the week. I did get a Unilever register reward as well, but I use that to help lower my out of pocket for my bigger transaction. But I do show in a YouTube short that I did get both of these. So super happy with that. So then of course, the toothbrushes being a $4 money maker really helps when you wanna get other things like this or this in your transactions. And I did forget to mention that the total price of the two packages of Dove Bar Soap is $7 or $3.50 a piece. So coming from $9 a piece on sale, which I think they're $11 a piece normally, um, to $3.50 a piece I think is a really good deal, especially if you like to use bar soap. Um, and there's also the body wash deal as well. I did not do that because I wanted to test out the bar soap. So for the rest of the transaction, I had to spend $50 get back $10 in Walgreens cash, digital booster. And then when I did one of these two transactions here, I did get a paper booster of spend 40, get $9 back. So that made me extremely happy because then that can make all of this stuff $9 cheaper. The only issue with this transaction is that when I got Sensi Soft here, my $2 digital did not come off, but I did contact customer service and they gave me the $2 
in Walgreens cash. So that was the only issue because as you can see from the register rewards here, I got everything back in my register rewards and all of the other digital coupons came off. No issues with my paper coupons. It was great. So let's take a look at this receipt really, really quick. So there is my booster. There is my paper coupons, the dollar coupon for the soft soap and a 50 cent printable for the palm olive. These are my register rewards, which equal out to $13. And then I have these digitals, $2 for the soft soap, $2 for the Colgate, $1 for the Bounty, and $0.50 cents for the Palmolive. And that makes my total out-of-pocket $34.61. Now, on my total here, I did get a pop because when I do several transactions in a store, if I want something to drink, I'm not going to do a fourth transaction for just a pop. So I do take that off of my total for $2.69. Then I took $2 off the total for the missing coupon, but I added in $13 for the register rewards that I used. So my total for everything after coupons was $42.92. So there's that. I got back $22 in a Walgreens cash for the spend 50, get 10, the spend 40, get nine, and then $3 for the Palmolive. Now let's look at these beautiful register rewards. So let's start off up here. So we'll say this one is for the bounty. So I got $4 back for the bounty. Then I got back $4 for the Oral B. Then I also got back a $4 store register reward for the Oral B because that double dipped. Then I got back $4 for the Colgate toothpaste up here on the top. And then I got back $5 for the soft soap. So those are all my register rewards. Then I got back $6 on Ibotta for the bounty. And then I submitted my receipt for $2 for the coupon, um, sorry, for $2 on the coupons.com app for the other Colgate. That makes everything in this transaction free and an $8 and eight cent money maker. And I tell you what, guys, when I seen a $3 Ibotta rebate for Bounty and it was a limit of two, I was like, I'm on it. <laughs> so then you can figure in the toothbrushes and the Dove. My total makes everything that you see here free and a $5 and eight cent money maker. Now, if you don't want to get the bar soap, that's too much. You don't want to spend $7 on that then everything here would be a $12.08 money maker. And that is incredible. Yes, I had to put out some money for that, but I used my PayPal debit card and I had a bunch of my rebate money saved up. And so I didn't have a problem paying that out of pocket. But this is a transaction that you work up to. This is definitely not a first time transaction that you do. So anyways, guys, that is all I have. I'm really happy with this week's transactions, happy with the double dips, happy with the Ibotta rebates. I think I got some good core items for my household. So that makes me very, very happy. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week out there couponing. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.